lot of folks have uh, been wondering, especially when we get a lot of high water events in the city of Huntington, um, that there's some mechanism or pump that actually pumps out the water out of the city, especially at Four Pole Creek, which sits right here, um, pumping it out into the Ohio River. Uh, but that's really not the case. And I'm here to really talk to you about the facts of how this pump station operates and the conditions of Four Pole Creek and when the Ohio River gets into a high water event. 1937, when the city of Huntington received a dramatic flood event, uh, the one thing that was prevalent is the Corps of Engineers and the U.S. government realized that they needed to build a large protected area uh, to protect the city of Huntington. That's why we're here at Four Pole Creek, which is part of our system. Four Pole Creek, we have a, we have a couple of different interior uh, creeks that actually drain through the city, Four Pole Creek being the largest one. Um, but it drains directly right out into the Ohio River, naturally, unpumped. During regular times of the year when the Ohio River elevation is down, so the river's not up in rise of uh, floodwaters, uh, the creek naturally flows out into the Ohio River. But in the winter time and in certain times of the year when the, either through melt of snow but through heavy rain events, the Ohio River actually rises. And in that rise, when it reaches a certain condition at 39 feet, which is over here to my uh, left, we actually have to shut gates uh, to keep the river, the Ohio River, from flowing back into the city of Huntington. And at that point, the only way that the Four Pole Creek gets out of the city of Huntington is we physically have to pump it out. Outside of that, Four Pole Creek, even when it's flooding, when we get drainage and we get rainfall south of the city, and the Four Pole Creek rises, even to a level that it floods out neighborhoods, like Inslow inside of the city or south side of the city, um, those neighborhoods see an impact of Four Pole Creek but this pump station has no impact of getting that water out of the city. It literally is just a natural drainage flow directly out underneath the station out to the Ohio River. One thing that's important to understand about Four Pole Creek Pump Station is the intake, which I'll point off here to my right hand side. And you'll notice that the level of the intake is well above the natural flow of Four Pole Creek. And that's really where the water has to reach over a foot inside of that intake before it's actually able to pump any of the water from Four Pole Creek out into the river. I think one of the other things that we hear quite often is why don't you just shut the gates of the station itself and then pump out the Four Pole Creek water. Um, it requires, the, the misconception is you can just shut the gate without the Ohio River being up. If you shut the gate, and start letting the water rise without having back pressure of the Ohio River against it, that actually would blow out those gates and completely damage and make this station inoperable. So if the water continues to rise, that water would just directly come right into the city of Huntington, no way of stopping it whatsoever. So it requires us to shut a gate, have the river up, then shut the gate. An interesting fact about Four Pole Creek Pump Station, at the time that this pump station was built, those three 1,750 horsepower uh, pumps itself. They were the largest pumps built in the world at the time. They're actually the largest pumps east of the Mississippi River still in operation today. 